Andy Mogul. Hey guys, it's Monday, and that means a new episode of Backyard Effects. I'm Zach Finfrock, and just in time for the release of the new Harry Potter film, we're going to show you how to make a Harry Potter magic wand. Now, as a fan of the Harry Potter books and movies, I want to do something that celebrated the seventh movie's release, but I also want to do something simple and worthy of a Backyard Effects episode. That's why I'm going to make not just one, but two props. I'm going to make a stunt prop wand, and then a hero prop wand with an LED on the front that lights up. But Zach, what's a hero prop and a stunt prop? That's a good question, crazy subconscious trying to fill in for Puppet Zach. Well, a hero- Any time! A hero prop is used for close-ups and really tight shots, so it has to look really detailed and really nice, where a stunt prop is usually one that's used in wide shots and can be tossed around and drop on the floor and things like that. Since today's episode has more than one prop, it's also going to have more than one budget. So I'm just going to tell you the prices and we're not going to spin a wheel. Also because I still don't have anyone to spin it. I've got to fix that. The stunt prop wand is going to be $15. Then the light-up wand is going to be $20. And together, with math, $35. It's going to be magical. Let's do it! Plain printing paper, a drinking straw, two coin batteries, an LED light, random assorted colors of acrylic paint, spare wire, electrical tape, soldering iron, hot glue, and a wooden dowel. This build's difficulty level is... 5. Simple time lapse! Woo! The first thing you're going to want to make is the stunt prop. What I did is I took a small piece of the wooden dowel and rolled the paper onto it so it widened towards the end, and then hot glued that all on. Then I used a pair of scissors and cut off the extra. Taking the scrap paper that I just cut, I stuffed in the end and then hot glued on the edge to give it a nice rounded end. Then using the hot glue, I also did all of the details on the wand. Now, every wand in the Harry Potter universe is different, so feel free to get creative at this point. I also sanded the edge of the dowel to give it a nice rounded part. Next is for the LED. You need to solder two extensions onto the LED and feed them through the drinking straw then hot glue the LED to the end of the drinking straw so it doesn't move. Next, you want to tape one wire to the coin batteries and then a spare naked wire to the other end. Then roll these into the paper just like you did the first one. Make sure you hot glue it. Then carefully cut the end off so it's the same size as your stunt prop. Make sure you don't cut the wires. As you can see, what you'll do to make the light go off is wrap the bare wire around and then have the spare wire touch it creating a trigger. Since this will be hidden under your hand when holding the wand it'll only look like the lights coming on when you use your magic. Next do the same hot glue detailing you did on the stunt prop so they're as close as possible to each other in detail. Then you do a single coat of latex paint, whichever color you need, and then I use silver acrylic paint for the details. After that, I took paper towel and black spray paint and made the grunge effect to make it look older. Then, with a couple spritz of silver spray paint to add for more detail, I was done. And there you have your two different props, but keep in mind the LED light can only do so much. If you really want to enhance your films, you're going to need to use an editing program like Adobe After Effects to do kind of magical effects to add on to the practical light of the LED. Check in the description below to get a couple links to some tutorials we found online to show you how to do some of the magical effects for the wand. So then with the magic of movie making, it'll look like it's actual magic. See what, see what I did there? The, the magic of filmmaking. <laughs>
So, sorry about the no trailer again, just like with Assassin's Creed. Um, but this time it's because we still need to shoot it. It will be online tomorrow on Tuesday, so you can check back then. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know what your favorite Harry Potter films are. And I will see you next week with a very special Your Effects.